Well, good morning. My name's Marcus, I'm a mate of Raf's. I thought I'd give a bit of a vlog a go. I'm down at my syndicate. Bear with me, it's the first time at these things. Been down here since six o'clock. Me and Raf joined the syndicate late last year. Um, about two and a half acre lake, about 10 foot deep, bit of a bar down the middle. It's about my eighth or ninth session here. The last time I came here, I fished with my, my dad. We had a good session, we had about five fish out each and I was lucky enough on the last night to get the big fella out of here, Scar is called at 37 pounds, six ounces, which is my personal best. <laughs> So I've just come down for 24 hours, just set up, literally got the rods out, I'll show you them in a minute. Um, weather's pretty good, there's a bit of a wind blowing into this corner which is why I picked this peg. Um, fishing a sticky krill active wafter to the right margin, a krill wafter, dumbbell wafter in the middle where I've seen showing fish and the pink pop up over on the left hand side again where I've seen showing fish this morning so confident for a bite it's going to be a nice warm day see how it goes um, just here till lunchtime tomorrow hopefully get a few fish I'll show you um, what I'm fishing maybe get the rigs out later on when I'm doing before. I've got basically got slip D rigs left and right and the pop-ups on a, a Ronnie. Um, the slip D rigs I've made with um, semi-stiff Nash um, braided uh, hook length and a uh, one more cast dazzler to uh, hold the, the slip D. And then the Ronnie I've made up myself again on a on a uh, Nash semi stiff hook length. Fishing tight lines. We'll see how we go. See you later. Here's the swim. Swim number ten. Now I'm fishing with a bait boat, so feel free to comment on bait boats. I know how popular they are with some people. <laughs> kind of like Sonics. So, there's my Sonic Vader X RSs. Gonna look to upgrade them soon, maybe next year. Love them though. Not expensive, do the job. Caught me some big fish, so quite happy. There's a swim out here. Don't know if you can make it out. There's an aerator in the middle of the swim. Just there. Yeah. My right hand rod is on this willow, just here. Middle rod is about halfway between here and the aerator. And my left hand rod is about halfway between here and the other side, just over on the left hand side where I've just seen a big showing fish. So fingers crossed, we'll have a fish in the net. It's due to be a nice day, no rain. Just made a coffee. We'll be open fronted tonight. We'll see what happens. Well, that didn't take long. And we have a fish in the net. And he looks to be a decent one. So, we'll get everything sorted out and we'll see. But so far, excellent news. Good news is, no blank for Marcus today.
27 27 pound Nice looking mirror. There we go, 27 pound. Get in. Well, less than an hour in the pond. 27 pounds, which is my second biggest fish ever, other than the 37 pound, which is a bit of a jump up. Lovely looking mirror recently been caught I think because it had some recent uh, propolis on it so 27 pound after they finish spawning he's normally a big larker so well chuffed 24 hour session hour in rod back on the spot came from the right hand margin by the willow nearly pulled my rod into the drink because I was fishing a tight line so that's on the sticky krill active wafter, which to be fair, is what I had the big fella on in my last session and it's what I've had best results on on this lake. So I think I'll be putting everything on the krill wafters or certainly on the krill. So whoever developed those baits, well done. Thank you very much. So again, show where that came from just underneath the willow, just before you get to the willow, not quite tight to it. It goes down to about five foot. So, let's go and pack everything back away after my tripod malfunction. Speak to you later if I get anything else. Ta-ra. Well, uh, about half an hour, after that last one, this one's just grazed the net. Same rod. It's a, again, a decent looking mirror. Maybe a little bit bigger than the last one. Ooh, good day to start a vlog. Well, we're going to see what happens here. Oh yes. <laughs> issues with scales oh god 33 33 3 woohoo 33 3 come on Thirty three three different gravy. Get in. What a fish. What a fish. I am well chuffed with that. Let's try and do the other side. Wow, well happy, red letter session here.
go and get fish number. Twenty-five eight, a little smaller, no less welcome. What a session! Well, what a start to the morning. Getting tired now. Um, just put my rods back in. So 27 pound on the nose, then 33.3, then 25.8. It's madness. But uh, all on the same rod, all on the same bait. Ripping takes, good fight with the fish. Nice sunny day. What's not to like? Um, best session I've had in a bit. Um, got about another 24 hours to go, so we'll see how what we see. So, uh, if we get any more, I'll film it. Do it out. 21, six. He's got a big chunk missing out of his front. Dorsal. Lovely. Fourth fish. All good. Left arm rod. Lovely boy. Let's get him back in. It's a warm day. Let's not keep him out. Right, well, good day. Uh, four fish, smallest being 21 pound. Um, common, had a great day, nice and sunny, caught the sun. My cousin even scored a try for Castleford for the Super League, so, uh, and Cass won, so all good, so. <sighs> very happy boy uh, getting dark now rods are out for the night we'll see what the night brings fish are starting to wake up a few shows over my spots feeling good for another bite so see what happens overnight Right, well, it's early in the morning. I'm going to get off, spend some time at home before work tomorrow. Nothing happened last night. It's a lovely morning, nearly packed up.
drying everything off. And then I'll be away home in about 20 minutes. It's been a great session. First time I've ever tried to vlog. Turns out, good session to vlog on. We'll see. Hope to see you again. Ta-ra!